little better chance with the left hander against Johnson. Jeff is 0 for 1 in his career against Pierce Johnson. And he drives one to right field over toward the line. Long run for Laureano. And he all runs it. And the Mets win the ball game. Laureano ran too far. Coming home to score is Iglesias. And the Mets win it in 10, 3 to 2. Jeff McNeil with the fly ball single out of the reach of Laureano, who could not make the play after getting tagged out on the box squeeze at the top of the inning. Laureano couldn't catch McNeil's fly ball in the bottom of the inning, and the Mets win their fourth in a row as they beat the Braves 3-2. Well, uh, Laureano ran and busted, and then he got there, and he slowed down on his heels, and I know that ball started bouncing. He ran a long way for this ball. And now he gets there and he's slowing up and he's on his heels. Forget it. He was slowing up, but the thing is, he couldn't slow up enough as that ball drifted back into play and over his head. Wow. Into fair territory. That is a tough way to, to lose a ball game and a big win for the Mets. For Jeff McNeil, his ninth RBI in six games since the All-Star break. The Mets are a half dozen games over 500 for the first time. And after dropping 10 games behind the Braves on June the 3rd, the Mets are only a half game behind Atlanta for the first wild card spot in the National League. Let's send it down to Steve Gill. Steve. As we mentioned earlier, this guy's been heating up four homers in his last five games. For McNeil. Hits that ball to right. Laureano spreading over there. Oh, he overran it. And the Mets are going to walk it off in the tip. I mean, he had a beat on it. He did everything you wanted. He got a great jump. You know, when you're running that hard over there, sometimes you can't get yourself under control. And right here, he just runs right by it, man. I right, probably kind of pushed back a little bit as it starts to slice back. And, and you think of a lot of ways to lose. That's a tough one, man. You know, you get the breaks. But, you know, as much as that goes, to me, I told you, my biggest thing is the uh, Mets biggest struggle has been the bullpen tonight they went five innings gave up zero hits one walk with six gate and had numerous opportunities base run mistakes and all that and then you, you end in a tough one and it really kind of stinks because Chris sailed through an absolute gem tonight he did seven and a third nine strikeouts but in the end it's not enough as the Mets win it in ten three to two and they are now just a half game back of Atlanta in the wild card standings it is a long four game series. You gotta flush that one, partner. Yeah. You gotta flush it, try to do better tomorrow in game two on a Friday night. But we are not done with our broadcast yet. Braves Live, presented by Xfinity, is coming up next with Nick and Peter back in Atlanta. But for Ashley Shabody, for Jeff Francourt, for everybody else on our side of the ledger, thanks for tuning in. I'm Brandon Gordon signing off and saying so long, everybody. And that 97 mile an hour fastball certainly keeps you honest. Despite the fact that you're probably going to see a whole bunch of curveballs from Johnson. Johnson set a look at second. Two outs, 2 2 game in the 10th. The 1 0. McNeil swings, lines the ball in the air, right field line. Long run over for Loriano. A sprint. He reaches up. He cannot make the 
catch it falls. Jose Iglesias scores from second base, and the Mets in extra innings win the game three to two and pulled it within a game of Atlanta for the top wild card spot. And this is just game one of four of two division rivals. McNeil getting mobbed between first and second. Loriano, who tried to score on a bunt in the top of the 10th, this time misses a game-saving play in right. And what a the break. Mets win three to two. What a break. That ball's got to be caught. He was there. Overran it. Now, uh, Loriano sprinting. It's called a single and a game-winning RBI for Jeff McNeil. In the bottom of the 10th inning, the Mets win it three to two. Score one run on one hit. And leave two. Jeff McNeil all smiles. Happy Jeff delivers a win for the Mets. <laughs> Back with more from City Field on the WCBS Mets Radio Network, driven by your Tri Honda dealers. Let's go, Mets! Here come. McNeil has only seen Pierce Johnson once in his career, 0 for 1 with a walk. One zero pitch on the way. And he hits a fly ball out towards right field, heading that way. Loriano trying to get there, and he can't get there. He overran the ball. A critical mistake in right field by Loriano, and the Mets win. Ramon was there, and he overran the ball, and it landed behind him in the right field corner. And the dejected Braves walk off the field as the Mets celebrate as they win this one in the bottom of the 10th inning. Ball was certainly playable deep down the right field line. Loriano was there, threw the glove up, and it sailed right behind him and landed behind him. He was trying to reach back behind his head as he knew he overran it. And it landed on the grass back behind him. Obviously, Iglesias scores easily, and the Mets win game one. That is a heartbreaker right there, to say the least. Goodness. That's a tough one. Goodness. For the Mets in the 10th, one run, one hit, no errors, and a couple men left. Final score, Mets win it 3-2 over the Braves in 10 innings. Back with the totals after this.